Welcome back everyone, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Today I'm bringing you another listing. We have a 2018 Thor Miramar 37.1. Let's go take a look. All right, the Thor Miramar is built on the Ford F53 chassis. This is a 26,000 pound chassis with the 22.5 alloy wheels. Gonna be powered by the Ford V10, 6.8 liter, 362 horsepower, and way more than enough torque that you need for a gas coach. Uh, this coach has three slide outs, full body paint. It is a two full bathroom bunk bed model. We're, I'm pretty excited to bring you this guy. We're gonna take a look at the outside and then we're gonna jump on the inside. So let's do the tire size and the cargo carrying capacity and we'll continue forward. All right, this one has Michelin tires. They are 255, 80, 22.5s. And let's get the cargo capacity. Cargo capacity on this coach is 3,275 pounds. Not bad, not bad. So we're gonna hit some compartments and then we'll jump on the inside. This coach has exterior entertainment, so you have a TV here with the speakers. We're gonna open that compartment up. TV is on a swing arm, so you can swivel that from side to side. Very nice. Got an outside outlet here on a GFI circuit. Really nice roto cast compartments. This is full pass-through, folks. Take a look at that. That's the ladder for the inside uh, bunk. And if you're noticing, the compartment seals are arced. So if water is to get on the top of that seal, gonna run off the side and down onto the ground instead of getting into your compartment. Next compartment, same full pass through. You got another ladder because there are two separate bunks in there. You got your uh, drop down bunk over the driver's area and then the bunk beds in the rear. Propane furnace there, access to the back of the refrigerator. More full pass through. This has a tremendous amount of storage. Gorgeous full body paint too. There is your water tank with the low point drain, fresh water. You got your water heater there. More full pass through. Holy cow, this has got a lot of storage. More full pass through. And this one does have your waste tanks for the rear bathroom. Moving around to the back, this does have an 8,000 pound hitch. Um, but if you wanna look at your cargo capacity and your gross combined, and kind of take that into account before you start towing heavy, this does have a four pin and a seven pin connector. And if you notice, your fuel fills right here on the back. You do have a backup camera up top there and side view cameras. Coming on around to the other side. First compartment in the rear is your rear dump station for your rear bathroom. Next one is your electrical bay. You got your shore power cord there and your park cable hookup. And there are lights in each of these compartments. Now this is a triple slide coach. You got a bed slide. You have the um, living room slide and then there's a full wall slide on the other side. You got full pass-through storage there and your propane tank. There is your mid-ship dump station. You have full house filtration right there, all your water diverter valves, outside shower with hot and cold water. You get a light in there. You got your low point drains for your plumbing, your water pump, and then your dump station there. Very nice wet bay. Next compartment, full pass through, but you've got your 5500 Onan gas generator, more than enough to run everything in this coach. Full pass through. Looks like we got an RV cover there. Very nice, full pass through storage. Your Zantrek inverter, that's, that was what was in that compartment, that's gonna run your refrigerator off of the batteries. So when you're traveling, uh, that residential refrigerator will run off the batteries. 
These are your house batteries and your hydraulic pump for the leveling jacks. You got your side view cameras integrated right into the mirrors there. And folks, that is the outside of this beautiful coach. Let's go take a look at the inside. All right, slides are in. You know I like to do the walkthrough with the slide in so you can see how much space you have your slides in. Tons of space, no problem getting to the refrigerator, to the mid full bath. You can get to the bunk beds, no problem. And all the way back to the king tilted bed. Very nice. All right, let's open it up and we'll take a look at the rest. All right, we're going to start the cab and we will work our way back. So you got your gas cockpit here, just regular Ford chassis. Over here, you have your power mirrors and your leveling jacks. In the middle, you have this big Xera screen, which is going to take care of all of your infotainment, side view and backup cameras. Nice console there. Really nice comfy seats, they're power. They do swivel around and become part of the living space. And you have a really nice workstation here. All right, coming on back. You got compartments here. Probably put your waste basket in there. Easy to get right out the entry door there. Huge kitchen, lots of space. Dual basin stainless steel sink with the residential pull-out sprayer faucet. You got a really nice kitchen window there. Tile backsplash with the induction cooktop, tons of storage, pot and pan drawer, more big drawers, and these are full extension drawers, more storage underneath of the sink, and you even have a lot of overhead storage with the shelf up there. Really nice cabinetry. This cabinetry is going to be just as nice as any diesel pusher out there convection microwave oven there's your audio visual up there residential refrigerator all right you got your dream dinette right there that does go down to a sleeper and it looks like you got some drawers for storage here big windows i love that tri-fold sleeper sofa right here fireplace storage tv on a swing arm actually that slides out to the side nice storage there Got some more storage here. I'm not gonna forget this. We have the overhead bunk that comes down. There's a ladder for that and you got nice storage across the top there. Vinyl flooring that looks like wood plank. Coming on back, you have a nice pantry right here next to the refrigerator. Back to the midship area, nice bifold doors that close off the bunk beds. Now this can be turned into wardrobes or it can be multi-use for storage. Huge monitors in both of the bunk beds with windows. And directly across from that, full half bath or full bathroom. You got the porcelain toilet pedal flush. Nice shower here with the glass surround. You got tons of shelves in there to be able to put product down. Vanity right there. Tons of storage here. You have a towel holder, hand towel holder, some cubbies right there to put towels in, and tons of storage underneath of the uh, sink there. Really nice bathroom. Let's go back into the master area. You have a pocket door here at the master bedroom. Stepping on back into the bedroom. This compartment here is prepped for the combo washer dryer. Right behind that panel, you have your drains, your water supply, and you'll have to cut in a vent, but you can put this, the combo uh, washer dryer in there. Drawers all along the bottom here. Nice cabinet here with a hanging rod. And then a nice wardrobe here also with a shelf and a hanging rod. On the other side, you have the king tilt-a-view bed, so that tilts up. Nice to be able to sit in there and watch the TV. You have a couple drawers under here with your multiplex controller and your 12-volt and 110. You have outlets on either side of that bed base, windows on either side of the bed for cross ventilation. Lots of storage across the top there. Uh, this does have a multiplex system here. This is a, 
a nice multiplex system to operate the coach. All right, all the way into the back, you have another pocket door and your master bathroom. Another nice shower with tons of shelves to put product on. Another porcelain pedal flush toilet and tons of storage over here too. Drawers and another vanity here. A little corner closet there and three uppers, pretty big upper cabinets. Egress window here in the bathroom. Very nice. Let's give it a once through and we will wrap this up. I love the amount of floor space you get in here with that tilt of view bed. You got about six feet here. All right, everybody, that is a 2018 Thor Miramar 37.1. This coach is still available. And if you would like to know more, if you have any questions, you can text, call, or email me. Information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please stay tuned for more, and don't forget to subscribe.